Hello, I'm Anthony, and today I'll be unboxing one of these. This is a Steel Series Siberia headset. Um, this is the Siberia um, V2, and I am very interested to see what this headset brings to the table. Um, I've done a few things with Steel Series in the past, and I uh, I like their products. I really do. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, on par with one of the um, the headsets that uh, Gombius is now promoting. Uh, so we will take a look and see if we can compare and contrast from what we know of the Gombius headset. So uh, the packaging, we'll give you a quick glimpse of that before we tear into it. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and take our trusty knife, slice through the do not steal me stickers. And go ahead, open that up. <laughs> there we go. Now this is a review unit. We will end up having to return this to the company. So we will take extra care and caution with it. Let's go ahead and gently remove this from the packaging. Okay, one of the first things to come out of the box is this. Um, it comes with a sticker that you can mount on your case, on your um, monitor, anywhere that you would stick a sticker. Also, uh, it is worth noting that the, the plastic inside the box, rather than being a uh, shiny plastic or even a matte plastic, is uh, coated with some kind of almost velvet or velvety uh, feeling. Uh, it's very nice. It actually adds to the, uh, the impression of quality of the headset itself. Uh, flipping that over, we can see that it does in fact come with a few different cords here. So let's go ahead, open the bag, and find out what these cords are and what they are used for specifically. Okay. First and foremost, we have a few mysteries to solve. We have this very interesting small box here that is protected. So let's go ahead and slice that open and find out what this is. Ah, here, this is the control for the unit. Uh, what this is, is it allows you to mute your microphone, uh, and it also allows you to control the volume in the headset. It's a very nice feature. Um, I'm glad that they, they actually did something like that. And it looks like, yes, what they've done is they've actually split the headset uh, and the microphone uh, into two separate cords uh, here so that if you are needing to have those on a short leash, you can definitely do that. And then if you're playing at a slightly longer range, you've got this very nice included extender uh, allowing you to, um, to uh, game at a distance. I believe one of the reasons for the shorter version is in some newer game consoles you can actually hook these to your um, your controller. That's, it's, it's interesting. I'm glad that they included that. Very good design decision on their part. Um, this is not a USB headset which for some may be a deal breaker. However, uh, for those who are um, purists with their audio quality, uh, I could definitely see why they would want to keep those separate. The connectors are um, plated in what appears to be gold. However, as any audiophile will tell you, that's um, pretty much useless um, other than to look really, really nice. Uh, because if it's not gold all the way through, then you don't get the uh, benefits of... Um, having the, the gold there. Um, okay, um, so the cord, as far as a rubber or plastic cord goes, this actually looks like it's got a really nice quality to it. 
It's got a, uh, a good grain to it. It's not um, like a shiny plastic. It's got a uh, almost a, a hard to say, um, but it's it's definitely a step up from what you would find in uh, lower price electronics as far as the cord. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and remove the twist ties from the rear so that we can get to the headset itself. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and lift the headset out of its... Oh, we cannot yet do that. Let's go ahead and take care of our last do not steal me measure here. There we go. Beautiful. These appear to be very well made. Um, it does have some shiny black plastic um, here on, on the ear cuffs, which more than likely will be fingerprint magnets. Uh, I don't necessarily want to pass judgment quite yet on them, but it appears I'm actually not able to make a... F there they are. Yes. They will be fingerprint magnets. Now the question is, will they be worth it? Um, many things can be fingerprint magnets, but you know, in the long run, the build quality is worth it. So we will have to do a little bit more testing before we can answer that. So this appears to be a wireframe. Yes. Um, very, ooh. I like how it hugs. Let's put it on our heads automatically adjusting to the size of our head um, via the included strap here. I, I, I think that that's a nifty feature. And as far as comfort on, on the head, it completely encapsulates my ears. Uh, now I do have extremely large non-human ears, so that's something that I can't always say. However, with this headset, I can say that it comfortably covers my ears and it does not pin them to the side of my head. And so far, they don't seem to be producing or, or uh, rather uh, retaining a lot of heat. However, in play, that could be an entirely separate thing. Um, overall build quality, um, I, I almost feel like it's too early for me to really say much without putting them to you know, uh, several hours worth of play testing. However, um, just initial impression, I would say that I put the build quality somewhere around maybe a seven. Um, and, and the major things that are going to hit it and, and cause it to be a seven um, are of course the shiny black plastic, which is going to be a, a huge fingerprint magnet. And um, also the, um, the, uh, the wires here at the top, I can actually twist uh, the rubber on the outside of the, uh, the stabilizing wires. So I, I, I worry for um, how well those are gonna hold up over time. The foam padding on the inside is actually uh, fairly high quality, um, as well as the plastic leather pleather um, around the ear cuffs. Um, I have no worries about how long that's gonna last because just you could tell by feeling it that um, it's it's fairly well designed. So that is what I think um, about that. Now, as far as the the microphone of it, um, the microphone is a uh, directional microphone. Um, you can um, you know you can position that just about anywhere you'd like. Um, I love the retractable portion or the retractable feature. Um, but as far as how well it's going to be used, again, that's something we'll have to figure out in playtesting, how well it picks up. Does it uh, you know, uh, pick up a lot of noise, uh, interference, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is another one that very heavily will depend on the playtesting portion, which you'll see in the full review, uh, which will be on Impulse. Uh, if you have any experience with this particular unit, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, we will be um, discussing that as well as any other concerns that you have. If you have uh, any experience with units like this one, also I'd be very interested to hear from that. Um, yeah.
Also, if you have any other further ideas of things you'd like me to unbox, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see if I can fire a letter off to somebody. Anyways, till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please.